In this module, we will learn about living organisms and their surroundings. Places around the world are so different from one another. Some are cold, some are very hot and dry and some places are so humid. And yet all of them have many organisms or living creatures of various kinds. The cold region have polar bears and hot deserts have camels, while the humid sea area have many fish. Let us compare two different surroundings, the sea and the desert. In the sea, plants and animals are surrounded by saline or salty water. Most of them use the air dissolved in water. There is very little water available in the desert. It's very hot in the daytime and very cold at night in the desert. The animals and plants in the desert live on the desert soil and breathe air from the surroundings. The body structure of a camel helps it to survive in desert conditions. Camels have long legs which help to keep their bodies away from the heat of the sand. Their eyes have bushy lashes, they excrete small amount of urine, their dung is dry and they do not sweat. There are so many kinds of fish, but do you see that they all have something common about their shape? All the ones shown here have the streamlined shape. This shape helps them to move easily underwater. Fish have slippery scales on their bodies. These scales protect the fish and also help in easy movement through water. Fish have flat fins and tails that help them to change directions and keep their body balanced in water. Gills present in the fish help them to use oxygen dissolved in water. We say that the features of a fish help it to live inside water and the features of a camel help it to survive in a desert. Xerophytes are plants that can survive in places that receive very little rainfall. Example, cactus. Mesophytes are plants that survive in average conditions of water supply. Example, mango, papaya and banyan tree. Hydrophytes are plants living in water. Example, lotus and water lily. Halophytes are plants growing in marshy areas. Example, mangrove trees, avicennia and rhizophora. Animals survive in their surroundings due to the presence of specific features. The surroundings where organisms live is called a habitat. Habitats provide food, water and shelter which animals need for survival. The presence of specific features which enable a plant or an animal to live in its habitat is called adaptation. Different animals are adapted to their surroundings in different ways. The plants and animals that live on land are said to live in terrestrial habitats. Some examples of terrestrial habitats are forests, grasslands, deserts, coastal and mountain regions. The habitats of plants and animals that live in water are called aquatic habitats. Ponds, lakes, rivers and oceans are some examples of aquatic habitats. The living things such as plants and animals in a habitat are its biotic components. Various non-living things such as rock, soil, air and water in the habitat constitute its abiotic components. Sunlight and heat also form abiotic components of the habitat. Abiotic factors like air, water, light and heat are very important for growth of plants. In fact, these abiotic factors are important for all living organisms. Let's recall what we have learned. We see hot and dry, cold and humid places around us. Various kinds of animals live in these parts of the world. For example, the camel in the desert, the fish in water and polar bear on the poles. 
the surroundings where an organism lives is called its habitat. The plant and animals that live on land are said to live in terrestrial habitat. The habitat of plants and animals that live in water is called aquatic habitat. The presence of specific features which enables a plant or animal to live in a habitat is called adaptation. Living things such as plant and animals constitute the biotic component of a habitat. Non-living things like rocks, soil, air form abiotic component of a habitat. Both biotic and abiotic components of a habitat are important for all living organisms.